Hello, this is Cheo with a special guest in celebration of Careers in Student Affairs Month. And with us today we have Gregory Condon. Gregory, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Gregory, you live on campus actually, and yeah. but you've been here, this is your first year or second year? Second year. Second year. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved in student affairs as a career. Yeah, so um, largely how I got involved initially was I, for undergrad I went to the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, that's where the Oshkosh Placement Exchange is, it was kind of my foot in the door to housing. Um, went down to Mississippi State University for grad school, uh, studied like higher education administration. Uh, I worked in housing at the time as a GA. I had two very like wildly different uh, buildings each of my years and they were wonderful experiences. I uh, wanted to try out a different region, uh, came to the University of New Mexico. I've been super happy. I have an absolutely wonderful team that I get to work with. Um, and a, like a ton of student contact with uh, housing, uh, I get to really focus on um, like not just my residents, but I get to spend a lot, a lot of time with my RA staff and like really working on developing leaders who can produce other leaders has been super exciting for me. Um, they're a great group of students uh, and young adults and it's been an absolute blast to see the team grow over the last two years, so yeah. Gregory, you're also a fellow with me. I am. And you're gaining a lot of other experience of, aside from housing. How has that been? Yeah, it's been really cool to kind of see uh, how student affairs works. Uh, we're kind of housing the business affairs side of things uh, in housing. And uh, being able to meet different people in student affairs has been exciting, seeing how it operates differently. Um, and yet the same from kind of my experience at Mississippi State uh, University. Um, seeing what leadership looks like uh, has been awesome. It's a organized way different than what I'm used to. So yeah, it's been great. Wonderful. Now finally, Gregory, what advice do you have uh, for UNM students? Maybe they're thinking of a career, but they're not sure if it's higher education. But if, if what advice do you have them to encourage them to consider higher education as a career like your career? Yeah, um, I think the main thing that you can do is get involved. Uh, you're what you're going to remember from college largely is going to be your experiences. You're not going to remember Dr. Ortiz's class every single day. Uh, you'll remember aspects of that and that's super important, but what you're going to take out of this multiple years from now is your experiences with friends and things of that nature. And you're able, if you're able to make that also a leadership experience um, and get to know people who have kind of like walked through, oh, like grad school programs, things of that nature, gone into higher ed, and recognize that oh, it, this is an environment that you really thrive off of. Um, that's an exciting opportunity. Um, I've been fortunate enough to launch a bunch of people into the career of student affairs through like mentorship, a uh, little class that I teach. And because of that, uh, I've gotten to see like former students become colleagues, and that's been really great. And it all just started out with them getting involved their freshman year. Excellent. So, well, thank you for those words of wisdom. And we appreciate this interview. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Cheo. Until it. next time, this is Cheo and Gregory.